Hello everyone, this is Ben with Lakeland Office Systems. In today's video we are going to install a Canon print driver. This will be for the uh, Canon IR Advanced Series. Uh, in order to do so, we'll start with opening up a web browser. And we will go to CanonUSA.com. Off to the right here, we will see drivers and downloads. And right here where it says enter your model number, we will type in a advance. Since ours is an advance C7055. And as you see, it will start to populate a list here. We are doing a 755 in this example. Uh, if yours is an image runner advanced, you start typing in advanced, and then whatever your number is, and it will start to pipe like that as well. If it is not an advanced model, if you just type in image runner, and along with the numbers, it will start to populate that. So we're going to select the 7055. And it will come up with a suggested uh, print driver for you. It did recognize that we are using Windows 10 64-bit, and it did come up with a UFR2 driver. So we're just going to select that one. It will make you put a check mark next to the terms and agreements. So we'll select that and hit download. All right, this will take just a moment, and then we'll continue on with the installation. Okay, our download is cr uh, done here. We are going to simply click Run. And it's going to ask us where we want to download it to. Typically, downloads would be just fine, but just so that it's easier to find, we're going to go ahead and we're going to change our directory by hitting the little box there to our desktop. This way, it's just easier for us to find it. So we'll hit OK. Make sure it does show that it's going to our desktop, and click Extract. OK, now that it's done extracting, we can minimize this. You'll see the UFR2 uh, folder that it did create here on our desktop. Click on that, and we are going to simply click the application right here, the setup application. Uh, it's asking for user control, user account control access here. Uh, you probably can't. Uh, yes, we have agreed to. We are going to just do a standard uh, installation. So next and we are going to add new printers so next to that as well now currently it's going out onto the network and it is finding all available devices that we can install using this print driver as you see it did come back with our IR Advance 7055 so we're going to simply put a check mark next to it and we are going to hit next and then start Okay, so it has installed our print driver. Uh, it will prompt you to restart your computer. Um, I have found that this is not necessary. Simply take that check mark off of there and hit exit. Again, it's going to say, are you sure you don't want to restart your computer? And do you want to restart your computer now? No, we do not, so we're going to hit no to that. Okay. Since we are done downloading here, we're going to minimize that. Since this is a Windows 10 PC, we do want to go into our devices and printers so we can make changes to the uh, driver that we just installed. To do so, go to your Windows icon, right click, and go to Control Panel. Control Panel will pop up. Uh, you may see it in a category view, just like we're seeing here, or you may also see it in icon view. If you see it in the icon view, go to Devices and Printers right here. If you see it in the category view, right underneath Hardware and Sound, we'll view Devices and Printers. Okay, as you can see right here, it did bring up an image of our 
Advanced C7055. So we're going to simply click, right click on that and we are going to go into Printer Properties. Now, so let's go into Preferences. And right here in the Preferences, we will see that uh, with the two-sided printing, by default, Canon drivers will install and will do two-sided printing. Most people don't want to do two-sided printing with every single print job, so I would suggest go ahead and changing that to one-sided printing before we do anything else. So we'll change that, we'll hit Apply, and we'll hit OK and then we will hit print test page. It should now be printing out a test page and as long as it does then everything has been installed correctly. That completes the installation of the Canon IR Advanced Print Driver. If you have any questions please uh, contact us and we'll see if we can help. Thank you for watching.